For well over a century, Jamaica has been one of the world's top travel destinations, known as much for its breathtaking natural beauty as it is for its iconic and influential culture. But in the age of COVID-19, Jamaica finds itself at a pivotal crossroads. This vibrant, energetic island, now held hostage by a familiar foe. COVID-19 has had a significant and debilitating impact on Jamaica. Heavily enforced restrictions and strict curfews have changed the way of life for its nearly 3 million residents. And there's not an industry on the island that hasn't been touched, especially its crown jewel, tourism. I'm here on the south coast of Jamaica, in the quiet fishing village of Treasure Beach, known to many as the last of old Jamaica. And it's here that the real impact of the pandemic can be felt by a region of Jamaica that is tethered to a more community-based tourism model. COVID has impacted Jamaica, well, massively from the larger scale tourism. James Godfrey is a villa owner and community leader here in Treasure Beach, and he tells me how COVID has impacted his industry. There's no doubt that it has been a struggle for everyone in Jamaica, especially the smaller hotels. And here in Treasure Beach, that's all there are. No million dollar hotel chains or all inclusive resorts, just real, authentic Jamaica. Hidden between the humble homes of the local fishermen and the beautiful villas lining this rocky coast lies a resilient community, growing with the times and navigating a new reality. It was an independent community before. They had agriculture, fishing, very industrious people. So it's no wonder that folks from around here have managed to stay optimistic, despite the world changing around them. Over the years, fishing was not too profitable anymore to provide for the family. So you find that they resort to farming and now we have tourism. Liz, who lives and works here in Treasure Beach, has seen this community grow in many ways. I work as a cook, a butler, and I also oversee the villa. The community is grasping to tourism, and the tourism has done a lot for this community. And one of those things is to bring much needed jobs as Jamaica rebuilds, despite the pandemic. People like former NYPD officer Rohan will always come back to lend a helping hand. I just wanted to get back home. Jamaica is a developing country. It's rebuilding, as you can see, economy-wise, and all the new buildings, and you know, it has a lot of potential. And all signs point to Treasure Beach weathering this storm. Mm -hmm.